Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the Golang Vue.js, which we will at some point get to Vue.js, I promise, <laughs> learning series. In this series, uh, this video, we're going to go over subroutes. So how to, add, how to add subroutes with a Gorilla Mux and add middleware for that subroutes. So this part of this part is probably, I think, the most complex part we're going to go over with Golang, I think, and, and uh, um, a web server. And so because of the complexity, I went ahead and go ahead and built a very simple one first without going step by step with you guys from the start and then I'm going to kind of backtrack and go over it because I think that uh, sitting here for 20 minutes um, while I build the thing by hand isn't really super productive uh, or a good use of your guys' time. So I went and go ahead and built it and then I'm going to show you it and then we're going to go over what it's actually doing so that way uh, um, I don't waste a lot of your guys' time. Um, okay, so real quick I'll show you oh, hold on today. I think I messed that up. So, there we go. So are you okay? Make the project does build. Okay. And when I get when I head in here and dis, it's okay. Well, first things first. I need to have some way to attach a sub router to uh, the Grail Mux router. And there's actually a function for that called sub router in Gorilla Mux. So if you go in here and you look, you'll say sub router here, and you can go look at it. It basically says that you take um, your well, we're not going to quite do it this way. Basically, take your your domain. You're adding a sub route to to it, and then you're building um, um, routes the same way we built routes for the whole application for that sub route. So it's almost like a, 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 a kind of a mini router inside a router. And the and the function for that here is you take your router. So this is the the Gorilla Mux router that we created um, up here, right? Um, well, actually, well, we actually instantiated it. Uh, we actually created it here, but um, this is the the holder for it in the router router, uh, router object, right? Okay, um, and then uh, that's the router. We're saying path prefix. So this is the path. So we're going to pass in the path. So this is a function we can use over and over again, right? Nice and easy. Um, and we're going to say, okay, well, that that path, like in this one up here, we're going to get to in a minute, v1, okay? That path, we want to use all these subroutes and then use this middleware for those subroutes. Okay, and then we're going to return the, the router itself up here. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, please post in the comments below and I will answer your question the best I can. Okay, so the very first thing we do is we attach the middleware that we're passing in up here, right, into the subrouter. So that means that any any route that comes in via this, this subpath will run through this middleware. And then we're going to attach every route that the function returns to this sub route. <laughs> and then we're going to return the router itself. So I, I hope that makes sense. And like we did before, here we created a, a file to handle global routes, right? We're going to do the same thing with sub routes. We're going to create a file that handles sub routes. Okay, so separation responsibilities, right? Okay, so this is just a function that handles those sub routes and attaching them to the router. Okay, and because it's a router's job to attach routes. It's part of the router object. You know, I, I think that they, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually create those routes. So what I did is I went in here, I went up here, and I created a folder called v1 because we're going to do some version controlling here, right? So v1, and of course v2 for you know as your as your app goes, v3, v4, so on, right? Um, hopefully you get to v100, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, we're starting with v1, version one. Okay. And we need to have a router for that version. So once again, I'm including that routes file that we created. Well, I showed you in the last video here. We're going to actually be using the subroute package here. That, that before you saw it, I don't know if you thought, oh, what, what is that for? We didn't use it. Well, now we're actually going to use it. Okay. So and basically, that's just a that's just a return set of routes and middleware for a subroute. Hence the name uh, subroute package, right? All right. Okay. So we're going to need to instantiate one of those um, here. Okay, we're going to need to give it a name, and then this is the path that's going to be passed in to this middleware function. So, you see, let me uh, clean this up a little bit because I feel like I'm getting too many tabs open here. There we go. Okay, so we're returning this name here, and we're going to pass it in because you see, get routes. We're going to loop over those sub routes, which is, um, you know, uh, uh, this. The, the, these routes here, right? In this case, we only have one, but anyway, we're gonna loop over those sub routes, and we're gonna attach those sub routes to the middleware. Okay, sub uh, uh, the path, the 
routes, the, the slice of routes, remember? And then the middleware itself, which is a type of mux middleware function, right? Okay. And then, of course, just, just like we're doing up here, we're going to loop over those routes in that sub route and attach them to the sub router itself. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, you see here, okay, so we're grabbing this, this file right here. We're grabbing it right here. We're calling the get routes function right here. It's returning, okay, this, this kind of this object right here, this sub route package object, okay? Of course, you can have more than one if you want to. Uh, anyway, uh, it's designed that way. Um, in this case, we're only returning one. So turning that subroutes package, looping over those subroutes, okay, and then attaching them to the router. And then here is where you actually define your routes themselves. Now this is the exact same thing as our global router down here. So in fact, we can just, let's just create a quick route to show you how this works. Okay. Um, remember, routes is already available, so we can do this. And we're going to say, let's, uh, now, let's, um... Let's do let's do a status. Uh, show that this that the the sub route is actually active. We'll do status here. And we'll say uh, and we're this, you know of course this is you, you go more in, a, in an actual uh, um, an actual application, but we're just gonna this is an example, right? Dxk and then we're gonna say w dot write uh, byte slice. And we're going to return uh, v1 status is live, right? Live. Oh, I'm going to need um, to import, import net. Oh, uh, or, oh my gosh, HTTP. And because I don't want to type it out, we're going to copy and paste this guy right here. Like so, and then here we need to include that. Oh jeez. Okay, so all oh, that is gonna be source controllers v1 and status. We're gonna call that status handler. Status handler. We're gonna say status handler index. Okay, and this is gonna be status. Okay. That should just work. Hopefully, make. Okay, I'm gonna say curl there. I'm gonna say v1 status. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Let's see, status index subroute v1. I believe I did that correctly. What am I doing wrong here? Um. Oh, oh, that's right. I, I didn't do the path right. This, was the, there we go. Yeah, it's do status. There we go. That will do it. Oh, uh, there we go. V one status is live. Yeah, I, I didn't add the the route. I messed that up. Okay, so you can see um, that that uh, the V one is attached to any route added here. I didn't have to add V one to the path, right? Uh, and the router itself, it attaches that as the path prefix to any route. So, check this out. So let me show you something. Um, let's show the middleware actually working. Uh, we need to actually go to our middleware here, and we'll say global middleware. So uh, let's just do this. Um, use log for now. That works. Um, log dot print line um, global global middleware reach. Yay, right, okay. And then we'll also do that on the V1 middleware. So we'll go up to here and we'll say, of course we need log as well, log. And we'll say V1 middleware, V1 middleware reached. Okay, we'll make we'll make this project. We'll run here, we'll curl V1 status. And watch, up here in the, in the first window up here, you're gonna see both middlewares reached. Global window reach, V1 middleware reached. Now let's go to the actual, the, the, the our home route here. And we'll, let's just uh, make sure this is easy to see. And then we'll go and see just the global middleware reached. So you can see how the middleware makes it nice and easy to add functionality to either global routes or just sub routes. Um, 
I think it's, it's super powerful, super cool. I think relatively easy once you get a decent setup. And because of the sub route system, now you can build apps dynamically anywhere, you know, any, any route you could possibly think of nice and easy. And I, I really think that in my opinion, um, I've been doing code for only maybe like four and a half years, four, four and a half years now, uh, professionally. And I feel like this is, I, I think the best way I've seen to handle, um, routes and sub routes inside packages as your pr application gets really big to keep your files nice and small and concise and, 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 uh, and, uh, keep it with, um, just single responsibilities. You know, this is, this function here is just handling the router for this, this, uh, package. This function here is just handling index, um, and, uh, nice and simple. Okay. Well, I, I hope that made sense. I hope you guys understand. I think I'm going to actually put this up on GitHub just because I think the sub route stuff gets a little complicated. And I think that maybe like seeing what I'm doing here might be uh, a little bit much to like type out and, you know, play with it. Um, maybe not though. I don't know. It depends. I'm, uh, but I think I'm going to put it on GitHub just so that uh, it's easy for you guys to, to, uh, to, um, to access. And let's actually, you know, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Um, we'll do it right now. Uh, profile. Uh, we'll go to my repositories here. Let's see. Um, new. We'll call it. Uh, I don't know. What, what, what do we call this? We'll call it um, uh, learning. Learning. Go lang. Heck, we'll just call, just call it learning go lang. Yeah, we'll just call it that. Um, make sure before I do that that I don't push up anything I don't want to push up. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. I don't care. I don't, that's it's not really a. Oh, what did I do? Oh, uh, that's that's not a real password for anything. I don't care about that. Uh, we don't want to include our vendor file, so let's do it. Get ignore. Let's say vendor. You know, and, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll read this file too. Why not? There's really anything under that 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 really matters. But and we'll do dot json. We'll do that. And uh, there we go. That should be oh, and you know, we also don't we don't need to include bin either. There's no reason to include bins there. Um, okay, so let's uh, go ahead and do learning going public. Sure. Okay, uh, let's actually go back one so you can grab everything. Like, oops. Okay, get. Oh, oh, this isn't gonna work. Um. Oh darn! I just realized what I did. Um. Let's see. Move API dot get to here, and then uh, move API dot. Uh, that should do it. So get init. Actually, and then we need to go into our. Um, that's longer there. Open file. Go back one. Oh, actually, hold on. It's not gonna see it. Open folder. Go back. Go back one here. Can ignore, and we need to do star like so, star like so, star like so, and then star like so. And then I guess actually, you know, my, since we're we'll be doing node for uh, Vue.js here a little bit anyway, so we might as well do package or uh, node modules as well just for later. Okay, um, there we go. Oh, and then uh, we need to do config.json also as well for our, uh, for our future um, Axios Vue.js stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, get init. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of just kind of dirty here. Uh, and then copy here. And then send. Oh, let's see. Here. We'll just do can do, do do like so. Should have get cache added, added there. Okay, there we go. So then you guys can access the code right here. Um, everything should be on there. Hopefully, I didn't push anything up. I shouldn't push up. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the code is on my GitHub. Here's the URL right here. And uh, hopefully. Um, things go well for you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, leave any comments below and thanks for taking the time to watch.